Design steel bridge bearing by using roller and rocker. Bridge bearings are structural supports to transfer superstructure loads to substructure and then to foundation. Bridge bearing also makes rooms for superstructure girder to rotate and move. For simply support bridge structure, there will have hinge at one end and roller at the other end. The hinge can do the rotation and roller can do both rotation and movement. From basis structural design theory, the roller will have free rotation and movement behavior. This is the two degree freedom support. The rocker, we called it hinge, will only have free rotation behavior. In the simply support beam theory, we called them hinge and roller supports. Both bearings will not resist moment. Here are the carton type pictures for the roller and rocker. Expansion support, roller, rotation and movement allowed. Fixed support, rocker, only rotation allowed. You can also call this one a hinge. Bridge design methods are changed from working stress design, load factor design to load resistance factor design in past 50 years. The bridge girder support, bearing devices, their design methods are also changed. The bearing type changes from steel roller and rocker to elastomeric pad and pot bearing. The elastomeric pad and pot bearing are proprietary type bearing. Those bearings sometime are designed by the manufacturer company. Based on the girder reactions and girder behavior, rotation and movement, requirements, the bridge design engineer can pick up proper proprietary bearing from manufacturer provided data. However, during the interstate highway construction boom time, from 1950s to early 1980s, most of the bridge girder are steel girder and girder supports are either roller or rocker bearing that is either expansion or fixed bearing. These types of bearing are fabricated by the steel contractor and designed by the bridge engineer. Also during the boom time of railroad construction, roller and rocker are used to support most of railroad bridge steel girders. Because roller and rocker are designed by the bridge engineer and fabricated by steel contractor, they can take different reactions and both small and large rotation and movement. It is a flexible support. They also are economic to manufacture. Both type of bearing make from steel, they are likely to suffer deterioration and corrosion, they need regular inspection and maintenance. Most of bridges constructed during interstate highway system boom time, their steel girder supports reach or near their service life. If the bridge service function is still good, the steel girder can be sandblast and repaint, the deck can be replaced, the substructure can be repaired and the bridge service life can be extended. However, the girder support, bearing, may need to be replaced. The railroad bridges are difficult to replace and realignment, replace bearing. The roller and rocker, are always the only option, both type of bearing make from steel, they are likely to suffer deterioration and corrode. Most of roller and rocker bearing are taller than elastomeric pad and pot bearing. It is difficult to replace them with elastomeric pad and pot bearing. When the bridge need to be widened, most the Department of Transportation requires the additional new bridge girders use the same type of the bearing supports. Some of the states developed both expansion and fixed bearing standards, such as Illinois, Michigan, and Indiana. The design calculations are also developed and standardized. The followings are some of bearing details from Michigan and Illinois states. This is Michigan standard detail. This is Illinois standard detail. This is Indiana standard detail.
There are three structural components need to be designed for the steel expansion and fixed bearings. They are sole plate, the masonry plate, and rocker, either for expansion bearing or fixed bearing. Based on the Indiana details, the bridge engineer will be required to design sole plate, masonry plate and rocker. Here is one example of design calculation. These are calculation sheets. These are calculation sheets. This is last calculation sheet. When you design the rocker plate, you need to calculate bearing linear pressure. The equations shown in here are copy from ASHO 1965 Bridge Design Specification, ASHO Standard Specifications for Highway Bridges 9th Edition, 1965 page 89. Those equations have never changed. Actually the same equations are used up to ASHO LRFD Bridge Design Specification 4th, 2007. Addition section 14.7.1.4 and shown as comments, page 1442. See equations C14.7.1.41 and C14.7.1.42. The next example is a NSRR, Norfolk Southern Railroad Road. Bridge over Route 58 bypass in Danville, Virginia. The design specification and details are proved. And Arima, American Railway Engineering and Maintenance of Way Association. In Arima Manual for Railroad Engineering, 2003 edition, Design Chapter 19, Section 1.1.5, page 1916, bearing selection criteria stated that due to concern over large cyclical live load deformations and rotations, Pot bearings are not recommended for support of railroad bridges at this time unless approved by the engineer. The design calculations and drawings for bridge on NSRR over Route 58 bypass in Danville, Virginia are shown in here. These are calculation sheets. These are calculation sheets. These are last two calculation sheets. Detail 1 Detail 2 If you need help or have question regarding this presentation, you can contact me as shown on the last slide.